there's no truth to the rumor that my forefathers actually founded the town of Lanesville. But us Lanes have always enjoyed good basketball, and that is what has been produced this season by the girls' high school team in that southern Indiana community. And no matter what we do, you're playing basketball. After a few years of knocking on the door, the Lanesville girls are going to state for the first time in school history. We've fallen short the past three years, but this year we finally got past that regional wall and there's been a lot of fun things that have came with it. And they're taking the whole community with them. I feel like everybody's always telling you congrats or good luck this weekend or I'm going to the game and it's it's really exciting to just have all these people behind you. There's so many people that are like, we've had our hotel room booked since before regionals. And we're like, thanks for the confidence, I guess. Much of the confidence in the program comes from having coaches who have been down this road before. That's good, good. Now you got to drop, Hill. Hill, you got to drop. You got somebody down there. Angie Hinton coached at New Albany for 11 years, winning a state title in 1999. Her husband and longtime assistant Joe is in the Indiana High School Hall of Fame with nearly 600 wins on the boys' side, most of them at Floyd Central. Their daughter Hallie makes it a full family affair. I really don't know what it's like too much not to coach. I've taken a little bit of a hiatus in there, but it was for the kids, but then the kids wanted to play. So I may not have been head coach, but I was their head coach at a youth league somewhere. So, you know, pretty much with that, that's been our whole life. They took over a Lanesville program five years ago, coming off 12 straight losing seasons. What has it been like playing for the Hintons? Uh, it's been fun. I mean, we'll get texts from Angie at like 2 a.m. with like motivational stuff or just like little video scouting clips and like they put in the work and they expect us to and we do. They're so in love with basketball. It's their everything. So it's it's really special to be able to play for somebody that has such a passion to stay up and watch game film, to just do everything for their for their team and for their kids and you know they care a lot so it really means a lot because you want to do well for them because of how much work they've put in. It's what being in education and sports is all about is that relationship with the people with your kids seeing them make those strides and um, you know become good people good citizens that will come back and they will give back to the community just like it was given to them. Lanesville plays in the single-A title game at 10.30 a.m. Saturday in Indianapolis. Their neighbors from Cordon Central are in the 3A game at 6 p.m. I'm not sure there's going to be anybody here in Harrison County. <laughs> at Lanesville High School, Tom Lane, WDRB Sports. The Lanesville baseball team in 2017, currently the only sport at the school to win a state title. Girls trying to add another. Tom Lane, WDRB Sports.